ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO of Volkswagen Group of America, Jonathan Browning. Good morning and uh, welcome to the Volkswagen Stand. It's certainly a pleasure to be here in LA again and to update you on Volkswagen's progress. You know, a lot has happened since we were here last in LA. Volkswagen is continuing to invest in the US market and the resulting momentum, I think, is clear for all to see. Our strategy for this market isn't just a local imperative, it's truly a global priority. And our product strategy of delivering affordable German engineering is paying dividends. And I'm pleased to confirm that we will achieve our goal of selling more than 300,000 vehicles this year. In fact, we've already surpassed our 2010 calendar year results in the first 10 months of this year. And that sales momentum is great, but it doesn't tell the whole story. It's the outcome of doing things right. The focus of our efforts is on laying the solid foundations for long-term sustained success. We're writing a new chapter for our company here in the US with a clear commitment that is beyond anything Volkswagen has exhibited here before. Our new state-of-the-art Chattanooga plant, which builds the all-new 2012 Passat, officially opened in late May this year. And it's an integral part of our overall US growth strategy. And I'm really pleased that Frank Fisher our Chattanooga CEO is here with us today. Chattanooga not only minimizes the risk from currency fluctuations, it also helps us build a deeper, stronger connection with the US auto sector and our customers. Developing and delivering the right vehicles is at the heart of our strategy. And it comes right from the very roots of our company. Our philosophy can be summed up as everyone deserves a better car. Now, to be precise, that means raising the bar in each segment for fit, for finish, for performance, for technology, and for driving dynamics and great value. Let me talk to you about a couple of examples. Volkswagen, the letter R, means top-notch performance, as seen in the 256 horsepower Golf R. And now, I'm pleased to show you the second model for the R line, the Beetle R here in the US. We're not yet releasing performance data, but I can tell you that the Beetle R will live up to its billing. Visually, the Beetle R concept offers a glimpse of what a future production version will look like. The front and rear ends are widened by 1.2 inches, while the fenders are widened by 0.6 inches on either side. The rear bumper has air exhaust vents that are integrated aerodynamically with a diffuser in the lower bumper area to improve that downforce. And a visual and acoustic highlight is the exhaust system, with including two sets of dual pipes. The interior also makes an immediate impression with bucket seats and an R-specific instrumentation. For now, the Beetle R remains a concept, but we will be monitoring your, the press, and consumer feedback as we go through this show. Now, there's also great news for another of our emotionally charged vehicles, the CC. Let's take a look at a video. Car. And for 2014, 
2013, we've incorporated new front and rear bumpers, and it's standard by Xenon headlamps and newly designed LED tail lamps, giving the exterior even more distinctive and sporty edge. Our customers will have the choice of two powertrains, both delivering impressive German driving dynamics. And from a content perspective, the 2013 CC lineup will offer premium features with four new 18-inch alloy wheel designs, two navigation systems, an adapted front lighting system with LED daytime running lights, and ventilated and heated front seats. Now also, to meet customer demands in terms of flexibility, we've added a five-seat configuration with room for three passengers in the rear, replacing the four-seat setup in the previous model. Now, that gives greater versatility while retaining the CC's sporty interior. The 2013 model year CC will go on sale in the first quarter. And more details and pricing will be announced closer to the market introduction. In September this year, we started sales of the 2012 Passat and the all-new Beetle. Now, sometimes the benefits of German engineering are clear for all to see. Sometimes those benefits are slightly more hidden. For example, our products are being recognized as amongst the safest in the industry. In fact, nine of our vehicles, the most of any brand in the industry, including the new Passat, have been recognized by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety as top safety picks. The strength of Volkswagen, our products, and the brand are growing. And we're also very privileged to share some really significant news with you today. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce a special guest, Mr. Angus McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief of Motor Trend Magazine. Angus. Thanks, thanks, Jonathan. Every year, the Motor Trade editors gather all the new and significantly improved cars launched during the previous 12 months and subject them to an exhaustive week of proving ground tests and real world road loop driving. They kick tyres and fold seats. They look at panel fits and paint quality. They bore through data on acceleration times and fuel consumption and safety equipment. And at the end of the week, they sit down to debate, discuss, and decide the Motor Trend Car of the Year. This year, 35 cars were eligible for the award, but there can only be one winner. And it gives me great pleasure to announce the 2012 Motor Trend Car of the Year is the Volkswagen Passat. The Passat won from the largest group of contenders assembled in the 62-year 62 62 history of the award because it was the car that, in the judges' opinion, best met its six key criteria. Advancement in design, engineering excellence, efficiency, safety, value, and performance of intended function. The Passat is a breakthrough car for Volkswagen, designed for America and made in America with an impressively roomy interior, precisely executed styling, and an entertaining chassis, plus a choice of powertrains that includes a 280 horsepower V6 and a highly efficient diesel. It's a compelling new entry in one of the toughest, most competitive vehicle segments in the world, the mid-sized Panama sedan. So I'd like to call on Jonathan and Frank Fisher to accept this award on behalf of all the people at Volkswagen who helped make the Passat the 2012 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Thanks, Angus. Thanks, Frank. Take good care of it.
So for the Motor Trend Car of the Year Award is clearly a testament to the engineering excellence really embedded in our vehicles and a, a strong sign that our commitment to the American customer is being recognized. And on behalf of all of our Volkswagen employees who are watching in Herndon and in Auburn Hills and our employees in Chattanooga and the development teams in Germany, I want to really extend a heartfelt thank you to Motor Trend for recognizing the achievement of uh, Passat as the car of the year. Thank you very much again, Angus. Now, this is an exciting time for Volkswagen. We're indeed writing a new chapter in our American story. But there is plenty more to come. So with that, I'd like to thank you for your attention. Please join me in looking at these cars. Thank you.